Hello guys, this is Sarah Owatemi on Voice of Courage on Domestic Violence and Child Protection. Please like and share and also subscribe to my YouTube channel, Bimbo Owatemi or Owat007 Entertainment. Please, thank you. But let's listen to this one, please, guys. Thank you so much on that. Yes, um, yeah, I'm going to read it out as she wrote it. I have been married for, there is a lady that got married, which has, she has been married for four years, but she's pregnant for her ex-boyfriend. And she has been married for four years without issue, but she got pregnant for her, four, for her ex-boyfriend. So I'm going to read it out as she wrote it. I have been married for four years. My husband and I tried several times without any success. You have done everything to deal with this problem. But there has been no answer. I am not sure if my husband has low, low spam low counts because he has refused to seek medical help or get tested. And my in-laws have been on my case. They feel I have been the one that I have been the one responsible for it. She also said they've gone to the hospital, that she has gone to the hospital anyway. Let me continue. I have gone to the doctor. They said nothing is wrong with me, but my husband has refused to seek a doctor, advice of a doctor. One day, after much frustration, I decided to have an affair with my ex-boyfriend. And this happened with one month. This happened within one month. And I got pregnant. I am pregnant now. And my mommy said I should remove it. She told her mommy about it. Then the mom said she should remove it. She removed my mom. Let me continue reading, sorry. My mom said I should remove it. And I and tell my husband and ask for forgiveness. I am confused. I love my husband. And I also, I do not want to get rid of this baby. And I won't want to lie to my husband about the child. So people, what should I do? Should I go ahead and get rid of the baby? Or should I just remove, or should I just move on? I've been to a lot of um, spiritual places she has gone up and down. So, guys, this is an issue right here, as in right, right here. Let me just say, um, explain. She says she has, um, she has been married for four years without any issue with her husband, any child with her husband. She has been married for four years. The, the, um, the, she has gone to, um, she has gone everywhere. She has gone to she has gone everywhere to pray. She has gone to see um, doctors and all. They said nothing is wrong with her. But her husband has not gone anywhere. Anytime she tells her husband, let's go, her husband will be like, It's fine, it's fine. So she doesn't really know, understand. So and she said she has been worried for four years and the in-laws, her own in-laws that they have been disturbing her. So she decided to try outside with her ex-boyfriend. That she tried then within one month. She got pregnant. Now she's pregnant. Then she said she called her mom and she told her mommy about it. Her own mother. Her mom, I'm pregnant for my ex-boyfriend, blah, blah. What should I do? And the mom said, no. You have to remove it. But before you remove it, tell your husband about it. And still go ahead and remove it. Then go and meet God. <laughs> yeah. Ask God for forgiveness. So, and she she's writing it. And she said she's tired. And she doesn't want to remove the pregnancy. Because she has stayed for four years without having a child and two she doesn't want to lose her husband so that she should please tell her what she would do but really me for my own from my own side i really don't know do not know what you would do it's because it's a very serious issue sensitive one number one you are pregnant you know number one 
a married woman you went outside to meet another man which is very to me oh, i don't know i'm i'm talking I'm, I'm i'm talking for myself i'm not talking for anybody number one you are pregnant no number one sorry you are you're a married woman you went out to meet your ex-boyfriend now you are pregnant you are you are pregnant for that same boyfriend ah. to me i really do not know no you do to me number one is very bad you would have even still waited four years there's so many people that waited for like six years or so you don't even know maybe it's even that more that god will do it for you Girls, I, I, our girls, in fact, may God just help us. Can you see that everything is not guys, 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 guys? Can you see? But really, the guy too should go out and let them let them test him, let him get tested. Maybe he's the one. He says, it's true. Let let him to go. I understand what she's feeling. Let her go outside. Let her let them go. Let 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 her go. To, let her go and see. Let sorry. Let him go and see a medical doctor. Let them know what is wrong with the husband. You can't just be there and be forming, I'm the head of the family, I'm not going anywhere, I'm not doing this, I'm not doing that. Oh boy, go out and move outside and go and check yourself. Let's know what, let's know what is on ground. Yeah, the form might even be from you because we don't know. I'm just saying my own. But please, please, really, I really do not know what she said. We should please that. Let me read again. So people, what should I do? Should I go ahead and get rid of the baby? Of course, I won't, I won't, I won't no. Anything abortion, I don't, I can never say yes. Go and remove anything about abortion, no way. The, the, the baby is innocent, please, Edjo, to your loan. The baby is innocent, so I don't really know. If you have your your answer for her, please send me a message or call me or send me an email on it so we can forward it to her. I don't know. So thank you very much. And God bless you. I still remain Sarah or what him or what. Oh, oh, seven entertainment. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please, I'm begging you. Comment and also like. Like, like. God bless you all. Thank you. See you guys later. Bye.